What's up guys, Parker here with another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you like these quick Power BI tutorials, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can dynamically format a value based on a slicer selection. So recently I was asked if you could uh, change the number of decimal places that show in a table based on a slicer selection, and I put together this little walkthrough on how you do it. Uh, so we have this slicer over here with, uh, it says to choose your formatting. We have one, two, and three decimal places or no decimals. So we can click through these and you can see that this formatted value over here is, uh, is corresponding to the number of decimal places that I'm choosing. So if I choose two, it shows two decimal places. If I choose no decimal places, it shows no decimal places. And by default, when nothing is selected, I chose to have it show no decimal places. So I'm gonna walk you through how you can set this up really quickly. Um, so just to take you through my data, um, I only have five rows of data with varying decimal places uh, for the actual value in the table. And finally, I have another table that is just a disconnected table that has, or that will hold my slicer selections. And looking at the relationships, there's no relationship between these two tables. So in order to actually set something up like this, you just need to create one measure. This is all done in the measure itself. And I want to be specifically clear here that uh, this worked in a table, but I wouldn't recommend doing this in a chart because we're going to have to create um, this, this formatted value is actually going to have to be a text value. So that text value isn't actually a number, which it works in a table because text can show up in tables. But if you put it into a chart and it needs to do some aggregations, you will have problems. So let's go ahead and dive into this. So I'm going to create a new measure here. I'm going to call it formatted two, and I'm going to set that equal to, we're going to use switch very handy function in case you have multiple cases you're evaluating. We're going to evaluate for true. And then we are going to say um, when our selection, when the selected value of the selection decimals equals our first, um, our first case we're going to evaluate is no decimals. So when that equals no decimals, we are going to format our value field and we have to specifically set sum because we are in a measure and we're going to set that equal to the format number basically that is returning our value in just a number format without decimals and that's all we need for that first line we're going to do the same thing um, selection decimals if that equals one decimal place and take note, what I'm typing here is exactly the text in the slicer itself. So if it equals one decimal place, we want to format the um, sum of that value. And we want to format uh, this time as number dot zero. So that dot zero is going to add a decimal place and the zero specifically is going to add a zero if there is no number to fill up that one space. So let's go ahead and close this off. So now we just have uh, no decimal places and one decimal place. So let's throw this into the table, formatted to, we'll move that over a little bit. And when we click on no decimals, we're gonna have our number without decimal places. And with one decimal place, we have that one decimal place. Um, but you can see that doesn't work with the two or three because, um, because we haven't set that up yet. So let's go ahead and add the other couple. So I'll just copy and paste this here. So a couple of times, and then we will edit this to be two decimal places, and we just need to add a zero. And then three decimal places, and we'll add a couple of zeros. And then finally, we can set our default, and we just want our default to be, we can actually set it to whatever. So let's say you wanted your default to be with two decimal places. Let's just grab the format with two decimal places and throw that in there. So once we do that, we will have everything working just like we want. So one decimal place, we have one, two, three. Oh, let's check out what we have with three. Three decimal places, we need to make sure that we have the same values as in our slicer selection. So if it's two decimal places or three, so let's go through one decimal place, two, three, no decimals, 
and when we click off of it, we have two decimal places just like um, we specified here. So a big concern with a uh, method like this is if you then need to use this field in a calculation, let's say you're subtracting the number five from this, you actually need to turn this text back into a number using the value function. The value will basically just turn text that looks like a number into a number. And this works as long as this text is a number basically but let's say this came back as blank and you wanted to use the value on a blank field you will get an error so you're gonna have to do a lot of error handling to make sure that your value um, actually is a number so keep that in mind if you're running into issues uh, if you do run into issues and can't figure it out go ahead and leave me a comment down below um, I've run into this a lot of times and it is kind of a bummer sometimes but if you follow these steps you will be able to have a formatted uh, value in a table um, based on a slicer selection. So if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next Power BI 3 minute tip.